you know, we, we, we encourage everyone to be, uh, to ch the, you challenge yourself. Mm -hmm. See something, look at the community, be part of it. And, and there are issues every single day in the community. And there's experts out there, even if you're not an expert, even if you just have a little time, a little money, if you don't have money, but you have, you know how to read, you know how to write, we encourage you to volunteer. I always say the best gift you can ever give is to volunteer, give back to your community, even if it's just a little time, once a month, once a week, whatever you can give, an hour, a couple hours, we encourage you to call the bishop, call Church Life Community Church. We gave you the number, we'll give you the number again. Ask and say, I would like to volunteer. We get feedback, oh, I wish I was there. Don't say, I wish. Mm -hmm. Make the wish come true. That's post active. <laughs> if, yeah, if, exactly. if there's a word, post. We want you to be proactive, okay? Right. See something. Be, just make the phone call because we're always doing something. Right. Mm -hmm. There's always something going on. Right. We're, we're brainstorming late at night. 12 o'clock at night, we'll call and say, oh, well, we know there's something we need to do. There's something out there. I can feel it. Tommy, what do you think? And any, there's a little idea. We start you know, going back and forth with ideas. We come up with a great concept. Right. We say, this is what we're going to do. It's and we always, go for yeah, it. Yeah, and there's always a, a need in the community. There's so many needs, folks. And right now, we're all going through some very difficult time, and we need each other. All right, we, we sing a song in church, you pray for me, I pray for you. Um, we need each other, uh, we lean on each other. And we're going through some real tight economic situations where we really have to know our brother and we have to know our sister and we have to know our next door neighbor. And we take this television program and we make it a family out there. Right. And all those who are watching, you're part of our Church of Life family. We just like to see you in person. <laughs> Right. right. So right, right. come on over to the church, volunteer some time. And, and certainly we're even looking for young people who would like to learn television and learn how to do television production. And if you're really interested in doing something like that, then please contact us and uh, we'll help you. Matter of fact, we'll give you a little tuition uh, that you may be able to be trained to do something that will never ever stop and that's television right exactly well we you know we say uh, God be with you and what's the response and also with you so we encourage you to be with us there's always something out there like we just said there's mm -hmm. always something something always go wrong we're in the Big Apple there's anywhere between 8 to 13 million people in New York City so you know something's gonna go wrong exactly. so there's something for everyone to be a part of. Even if you have no experience, that's no excuse. Just pick up the phone call and say, Bishop, I would like to volunteer and we can educate you and teach you. And just sometimes, like, like I'll just give you an example. Uh, like I, I'm the commander of the medical unit for the New York Guard, so I'm responsible for New York City to oversee the health and safety of, of the soldiers within New York City. Mm -hmm. I have individuals in my unit that, that are not uh, medically educated. And I'm like, don't worry, that's okay. You're going to be my eyes and ears. That's all I need you, eyes and ears. Then I have other soldiers that want to be a part of my missions, and we don't have experience. I said, don't pro no problem. You're my eyes and my ears, and I will teach you and tell you what to do. So that's what we're, you have to be our eyes and ears. Make the phone call and say, I need your help, or I'd like to offer help. This is what we're here for. You know, we have instituted on Church Alive uh, television program a help section. It's called Help Me Church Alive. And if you have a need out there, say for instance you need a job and you, and you tell us about that job, we'll put it out. And maybe there's someone out there that will have that job oh, yeah. for you. Or maybe there's a crisis. Uh, last week there was a, a senior citizen that was missing and we posted his picture up so that maybe somebody out there will know. So we have a section called Help Me Church Alive. And uh, if so, if it's, if, if it's a need out there and somebody that's lost or a child is missing or, 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 or an issue or a fact that you're unemployed or you have a job, because here's what we'll give you. For any person that finds a job for someone, we're gonna give you a vacation, three days and two nights uh, uh, vacation, 19 different locations. It's a wonderful opportunity this year to go outside and look around and say, you know, let me help someone. I saw a job. I'll call up Church Alive. And if that place person is, is placed on that job, we got a vacation for you. We don't stop, folk. We, we are proactive right. every day. Exactly, exactly. Uh, you know, just uh, we have just a couple minutes, but just to give you an example, how many people 
uh, you know, how many unemployed individuals from the community have you placed within the past three years? In, in the last uh, few years, I would say we must have placed about 200 people. Right, right, right. right. And that's yeah. people from the community reaching out and saying, we, we need people. So it goes both ways, both ways. Okay, so we have people from the community calling a bishop saying, I need help. Then we have individuals who are business owners that call a bishop mm -hmm. and say, I have jobs. Do you have individuals that kid that need jobs right. that fit fulfill these requirements. Mm -hmm. So being proactive, the bishop, this is he's the man. This is it, the Bronx. You yeah. handle the Bronx. Right. <laughs> well, you know, they, they nicknamed me here in the Bronx the Bishop of the Bronx. That's it. That's and, it. And uh, that's because interdenominational, ecumenical, um, it doesn't make any difference. We don't, we don't say you got to be a Baptist, Methodist, or Pentecostal to help you. It doesn't make any difference at all. We are our brother's keeper, and so all you have to do is call Church Alive, and you're going to find me most times saying, okay, yes, we can, or we will try, but we'll do the very best we can to help meet that particular need that you might have. And so uh, this has really been a wonderful time right, in right. sharing. I enjoyed it. It's your program. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have about a minute, minute and a half left. So what I'd like to do is, uh, as always, I'd like to thank the Bishop and Church Life Community Church for giving me this opportunity uh, to be able to enrich the community through uh, um, health education. And as you see, if you've been following the show over the past six, we're going into our seventh year, mm -hmm. that the show has evolved from health to a community health uh, activist. Uh, if you want to see the shows, because I keep forgetting that, you can yeah. go to my website, and that's right. www.communityhealtheducation.com. Yeah. You can also see old shows yeah. on YouTube. And all you have to do is type in X. Dr. Tom Yeo, and you're going to see all my uh, shows uh, uh, pop up, and uh, just click them, and you can go right through. So, the Bishop, what I like to do is, uh, I know we're really wrapping this up because we got something special at the end, mm -hmm. but I'd like uh, if you can uh, close the show on a prayer. Yeah, I want to pray for the servicemen. There's so many of them coming home right now at Christmas time, and, he, and they're coming home to a sad situations. In many cases, they've been away from their wives. Uh, they've been traumatized by, you know, by the military action, that they, you know, battlefield right. situation. Many of them are coming home, and, and, and the families are not really what they, where they want to be. And so we want to pray. And then there are many of them that aren't coming home. Right. And, and, but they're out there fighting and giving their lives for us. We don't want to forget them. And so we're going to pray that way. Is right. that okay? That's perfect. Okay. As usual, we, we ask all of you to join in with us in this prayer. And wherever you are, husband, wife, children, just stop a moment and, and hold hands as we pray. Lord, we ask right now, oh God, that you undertake for the servicemen, men and women that are on the battlefield right now. They're fighting, they're giving their lives. Many of them, oh God, are, are laying in, in some hole in the ground, uh, being shot at. But Lord, their families are here and, and they're saddened because they don't have the connected piece of their, of their home. Many are coming home and they're coming home uh, demented or, or, or disgruntled. They're coming home finding out that the family is not what they left. Lord, there's so many bad situations, in, but we love these men and women. And God, we ask that you to look over them, undertake for them, undergird them, and work with the families, Lord, that all these things can be worked out. We believe you, God, and we pray for them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you, Bishop. All right, good. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, again, we have, uh, this is an exciting year. Yes, it has. And I mean, I mean the, the rest, 2011 is going to be something awesome, folks. So we want you to stay right with us in 2011. You know, and when you watch the programs, write to us. We like to hear what you have to say, you know? And, you know, does my tie look good? To, you know, <laughs> no tie tired, today. You know, you know whatever right. it is, you know, we want to hear from you. And because we really love you and uh, we know that God loves you also. God bless. God bless. Thank you. Thank you.